is not here tonight, but I definitely want to recognize him. I don't know how I met him, but he heard about what I was doing and um, said, you know, let me help you. Um, this guy, well, it's two of these guys, but what I'm talking about right now, showed up at HBO out of the blue and asked for me. And that gentleman's name is Al Goldberg. And Alan runs the Martial Arts Mega Weekend. Many of you guys have been there. And I want me to do a robot. And um, that show was, was, between that show and Comic-Con was a, a lot of influence to me. He brought all the action stars together and so forth. And it was part of the influence of me creating Urban Action Showcase because being at HBO, we have so many iconic film festivals at that time. We had Urban World Film Festival, uh, uh, ABFF, American Black Film Festival. But none of those catered to the blockbuster genre, and I wanted to make that change. But I also loved Comic-Con because I loved the, the marketing effect of, of pop culture. So I came up with Urban Action Showcase and Expo. So I want to give up a big round of applause for Alan Goldberg because that brother backed me and vouched for me for Michael J. White and many others that's come through this uh, evening. So please give it up for Al Alan Goldberg. <laughs> the next individual that's not here uh, is Rick Myers. Now, anybody know Rick Myers? The funny dude. He's a critic. So that, that, oh good. Hey Rick, how you doing, sir? We love you, sir. This individual uh, said, hey, you know, let me help you. First thing he did is tell me how bad my postcard was. He said, it looks like a porn, porn something. I'm like, oh. And he was talking about my logo and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you need to do this, you need to do that. And you know what? I listened, I did it. Why? Because there are plenty of more about this genre than I do. So it's good to listen to your mentors. So please give it up for Rick Myers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 2014, Willie the Bam Johnson calls me up, WMAC Masters. He's like, yeah, man, I want to do this, this, that, and another. We should do this, this, that, and another. And I was like, okay, well, I'm already doing something similar to that, but okay. Then all of a sudden his wife goes into labor so he can't do it. That was 2013, I should say. So 2014, we had the biggest gathering for the call to action. We had Grandmaster, uh, obviously Don the Dragon Wilson. We, we had Cynthia Rock. We had everybody to look at new talent. And that's something called call to action, martial arts action and talent initiative. And what we do is we look at fresh talent to give them you know, an opportunity. So one of the biggest opportunities they got was in 2015 when um, we had uh, the stunt coordinator uh, for, for Luke Cage come through, which of course is um, one of, of Alan's friends. And um, we had about 20 people to get on SAG and was able to, um, James Little, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm talking about, James Little. Um, 20 people did call, you know, a lot of people did call to action. He called, about 20 people got their SAG card, so it works. So I want to give it up, um, obviously, for, for, uh, for, for that uh, individual, for, for doing that for us. All right, so next, we're, oh, William M. Johnson, thank, thank you for him. All right, now, All right, these two, they're separable, but, but inseparable, because they came together. These are old school Hong Kong, um, elite when it comes to doing the Hong Kong films. Uh, they've performed with everybody from Samuel Hong to Jackie Chan. Uh, you know some of the films. Um, Gambling Ghost, Don't Give a Damn, and of course, Operation Condor. So they were supporters without even knowing who I were, was. Uh, so they've been here every year from 2013. I appreciate, love them very much. Please welcome Robert Samuels and Vincent Lincoln. Now, 
These, unfortunately, were the wars that were duplicates that I didn't have. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to let you say a few words, but I want you both to know that I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, it's an honor to be back here with uh, Demetrius and Urban Action amongst all the greats. Um, it wouldn't be me. I have to give thanks, as always, to my godfather, Ron Van Cleef, um, Carl Scott. I, mean, I wouldn't have had a job in Hong Kong if it wasn't for them. Michael Jai White, he continues to carry the torch of the Black Dragon. It's an honor. Oso Tiare Cassell, Don the Dragon, my sister Amy, thank you for joining us this year. Eastern Heroes Magazine, Rick Baker, Simon Pritchard, thank you so much. And thank you all for continuing to support it as well. Uh, I think we should really give a hand, uh, a round of applause to the person who brings this together, Demetrius. Uh, I think uh, my brother here uh, would agree that after all these years being part of uh, the golden age of Hong Kong cinema, it's uh, kind of surreal when you have an, a whole new generation of 19, 20-year-olds come up to us. How old are we now? Ha, 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 ha. You know, I'll tell you a quick funny story. I was in Washington, D.C. some months ago at the Capitol Building. Uh, and I was actually at an event with uh, Nancy Pelosi and Richard Gere, and it had to do with uh, the situation in Tibet. And there were a lot of parliamentary uh, members of, from Tibet, one of the remote, most remote places on the planet. Um, and I'm heading to the event, I come down the elevator from the hotel, and as I step out of the, the uh, elevator, there's this huge Tibetan parliamentary group of people, and they come up to me and they say, are you Vincent Lin? And I said, yes. He said, oh, we watch all of your movies in Tibet. And I said, you should be uh, going over and, and seeing Richard Gere, not me, you know. So yeah, it's, uh, it's really surreal, but thank you everybody. <laughs>